today we're doing something that we haven't done in a while. It's my fault. I'll take I'll take it out. Hello, hello, we are Trisha and Gabriel from different sides of the world, but brought together by nursing school. After a couple years of travel nursing, we are taking a break to just travel. We are going around the world in a hundred days, but probably more, and hoping to see a few friends along the way. So follow along with us as we simply live our lives in many cities across the globe. Just for you know, for the plot, uh, for the plot, for the plot line, flying Ethiopian economy. It's have been hours. This flight has changed from four hours to five hours to six hours, now to seven. Flying from Cape Town to Addis Ababa before we can continue on to Asia tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> so. Repositioning flights, rotary repositioning flights. Well, we'll see, we'll review it. Maybe it will beat all the rest. Yeah, it's a personal Maybe we'll be amazing. Yeah. I don't know what's happening, but I'm going to try and pray that they have one. This is a first time traveler experience. We've never used one of these carts before. Um, here we are. Oh, <laughs> I got that. <laughs> That's probably why we don't use them. So we have this extra baggage with us now that is new. Basically, we've been carrying these two big ones and we've been flying usually business or some sort of alliance, some sort of status. The weight hasn't mattered and our bags are both like 54 pounds, 55 pounds. Well, now it matters. We went and got this like little duffel bag. It folds up really small. Take it with us for when this happens again, but this is where the extra 10 pounds is. Doing our Ethiopian economy seat tour. First, why this color green? It's fluorescent, right? But flight pro, you've got your pocket here that does fit a bit. You do have chargers. We tested them; they work. You have your full TV. That's kind of nice. Movies, all that. And what? Oh, oh, okay. It is a full tray. No bad. The seats are actually fairly wide, I would say. Yes. Right? And that's the gist of it. First impressions? Don't like me. No, it's toasty. You forget how sitting in a group of a bunch of people makes you warm. But we have pillows. It's alright. Get some pillows. This is the food. Chicken, couscous, bread, beans, and crackers. I tried the chicken. People didn't even try it. I tried it for this. It's very spicy for that average person, especially when it's cold. The option on there. The chicken. Well, hello. Hello. We are back with another flight review, yes. and this one's going to be a little bit different because we're doing something that we haven't done in a hot minute. Fly economy. Yes, we dun, dun, are dun. reviewing Ethiopian Airlines um, economy. economy flight from Cape Town to Addis Ababa. We're going to be rating it. Most of the same way, so we're going to be doing the airport, the seat, the food, amenities because we don't expect an amenity kit, mm -hmm. and value for money. Right. Um, we're going to try to base this not on the fancier things of the business class world, but of other economy flights right. that we have or will be taking. We will be taking some more as well. Correct. So I've been told. 
So like always, we are starting with the airport experience. Now we're not going through the, you know, the special lines and all that. But everything went quite smoothly. Mm -hmm. Check-in was smooth. Security was chill. Okay. Yeah. What did you think of the regular security? Oh, okay. It was average. It was fine. We went to a lounge. But I went to one of the Beat Fest lounges in Cape Town International. And it's a priority pass lounge, but it also serves like other business class passengers from Delta. I think a lot of Sky Team One World, as you can imagine, it was packed. It was packed. And you know, I'm not a huge fan of when people close lounges because they're filled, but part of me was like, Maybe there's not a seat left in this place. Maybe you should close it. Maybe you should, <laughs> you should close, close it. But it, it was fine. I, I would give the entire airport experience a seven. I don't uh, want to give it a six still. But Gabriel's saying because it's economy, we yeah, have to be you, nice. Yeah, you go, no, you go to, go to a lounge. You play an economy. A win is a win. Take it to seven. I feel like we're being too generous. Anyway, now we're going on to the seat. Now, the configuration of this plane was something that I also haven't I kind of forgot it existed. It's the 333 three, configuration. Three, three. And which, guess where I sat? Which is the middle, middle, which, middle. Which is better than like the 242 two Delta fly sometimes. Yeah, so, yeah, that's terrible. Um, but I was packed quite in the middle. You forget how um, your neighbor kind of decides your flight. Especially when you're there for seven hours. Oh, God. You keep increasing the flight time. It's like five hours, <laughs> It was hours, six and a half. 45 minutes. My neighbor switched three times, and I would have preferred the first one. That is all I will say. Or the second. Just not the one that stayed. It's fine. The seats actually were quite roomy. Yeah. They, so bad. they, I they weren't so squished. Six, three and change. And I, my knees didn't touch the next person's chair. Um... You did get hit by the aisle cart, though. Yes, I got, I got clattered by the... <laughs> what would you give the seat? Um, For an economy seat, I guess a six. It was also the pocket. Was I reached gross. in there once. Yeah, you could feel the crumbs in there. Yeah. So for cleanliness in the seat, I think six probably fair. Um, the seats didn't recline any. You put your stuff in the cubbies up there. Like, yeah. it, it was okay. Well, yeah, six. Like, okay. Now it's my favorite part of the review, which is the food. And I just have to say something to Ethiopian Airlines. What's wrong with your chickens? Who hurt them? Why do they appear raw? <laughs> I know that they're not, but they have a texture that a chicken shouldn't have. Well, according to you. I... No, 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 no. That's according to everybody. You, he didn't even try it. I, I tried it. I, with the... I'm not going to be that person on the plane that's blowing up the bathroom. There was two options, chicken or fish. I got the chicken. Who, who gets fish? Who gets that's fish such a risky one. decision. It was spicy enough. Where I like spicy food. And I was like, this is not palatable to the average person. And the flight wasn't like it was all Ethiopian travelers who would like a lot of spice. It was mostly Europeans flying from Cape Town back to Europe. Most people on this plane can't. I'm going to eat this because it was actually quite spicy. When I say spicy, I mean not spiced. I mean hot, like burning your mouth. So... Um, I mean, the... The couscous was the, good, though. Right. Allegedly, I didn't even know. But uh, wafers were good. Uh, I guess the panta the was The packaged good. things the were package probably not going to hurt your like, stomach. Yes, and I had them and they were good. I would say for economy flights and the offering... Like the amount of things they offered, I think it is ever six or seven. I was gonna say three. Really? No. Have you flown like Delta Economy? Okay. They give you they give you like one biscoff. No, but those biscoffs are good. Yes. This was not bad. But this is like for a six hour flight. They actually and bought they... the tray. I four. think. You didn't even eat the food. I ate the food. It's a four at best. I think then I agree to a five. No. Okay, all right. Well, it is. See, I tried. Ethiopian. Do better with your chickens. Of course, there's no amenity kit, but we cannot completely fault them for that. Correct. Because we're not expecting one. We're going to rate it on whatever else they gave us. Right. They did come out and hand out headphones to everybody. Which was good, yes. Air Canada, like we flew them last yeah. year, and they... Charge made you. me buy for 13 canadian dollars those crummy headphones that last like two seconds so you got a pillow and a blanket upon request right which is 
decent. I I would say it's average. I would I would average. I mean, what are you talking about? Oh. This is a seven out of ten. I was gonna say a five. That so doesn't six. give you pillows when you fly international. Seven. Oh, yeah. yeah, seven. That's it. Last category is value for money. I'm sure you've noticed chronically across the African continent, absolutely horrendous value for money. If you're paying cash. The cash prices I was seeing were closer to six, seven hundred American dollars per person, one way, which is just, uh, I don't even have good enough words. People have to pay them because, you know, you're captive. You have, kind of have to go to Addis if you have to go to Addis. But yeah, just, I don't know why it's so expensive. We also tried to upgrade our tickets because I booked uh, our ticket i used like eighteen thousand united miles and i was hoping to just upgrade it at the airport and uh the cash quote was almost like six hundred dollars per person why are those the skies so expensive and they they just flew it empty that is the cost on the continent it's always like that i'll give it a four not great not terrible value like egypt air business class is not good value either okay drum roll what kind of drums do you have <laughs> <Such a laughs> sorry for anybody who wants to that yeah we gave ethiopian economy class a 2.8 out of five right i firmly believe they could have done better in oh. two aspects one is the food Hopefully slightly more edible. Plain food is notorious for being terrible, but I feel like it's 2024. Mixed sandwiches or something that people can actually mm. eat and enjoy. We don't need chicken and We don't rice. need chicken and rice, really. It's the same way. Value for money. Uh, those ticket pricing is just outrageous. 2.8 out of 5, kind of in the middle. So right. It's, it's I average. Think they did well. Right. They did, they did okay. Yeah. Um, Again, but this again is a little bit different because it's rating an economy class based on other economy classes. Right. So. And again, you know, it's our personal opinion. Which Yes, you know, and we're very opinionated people. <laughs> which you probably shouldn't take too seriously. But... Um, but even though we're opinionated, like, subscribe, follow along to hear more of our opinions. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I think up next, what are we doing up next, Zine? Um, will we be doing Ethiopian business now? Right, right, right. So we'll see so... the other side. I'm not holding my breath. Uh, and that will be interesting because maybe it will be even worse because now we're going to be comparing it to other business class, class. right? And we just look so at her, gonna... right? So it's probably going to get a break. The economy princess. I'm the Look, your name is on there. That means Trisha. What Miss, the heck? What? It's always my name. Oh, I have been confuffled. I feel like our bar's gone. So no, no, no. The bar is like the, the bar is like Spirit there Airlines. Only you know? like three things of garbage in my pocket. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike Canada. Canada. <laughs> Unlike Canadian Air or Canada. No. And um. Just watch this like score better than like the Egypt Air business class. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we're going to have to put this in a whole different section. That would be terrible. Trisha, how do you feel about going in the economy from Cape Town to Addis Ababa? I did not. Window seats? Same, same. I'm not going to Tokyo with you. Even though that's been my dream. Stop. You heard it here folks. Trisha doesn't believe. When she sits on that seat tomorrow, I'll record her again. To the loose.